So now I'm quickly trying a brand new Zazani 5300G as the scores are kind of uh, remade to the brand new version of the Benchmade software. It's much faster with the uh, given benchmarks it usually contains. So with the 5300G, the only test that really matters is the GPU Pi for CPU 1 billion. So uh, uh, I decided to buy a new one because the last one, it had very bad cold slow type of code bug at minus 115 to minus 120, no matter what I tried. So let's hope this CPU can go uh, colder than the previous one and let's see how it goes. So the target is like 5.5, 5.6 gigahertz on uh, the uh, actual core speed. So let's see what happens. So I'm already at minus 80 or so, so I'll just keep cooling down and I'll show you all the stuff on the capture card. Okay, this is the new rank 5th score, my first proper run, what a mess. I forgot to install the new uh, OpenCL, which is the key for the good performance. Huge thanks to Sebi from Virginia for quick help to get this running correctly. Okay, let's try again. Okay, that's the new rank 2 score, 29, yeah, so 2.6 or 2.5 seconds away from the current rank 1 score. Previous rank 2 score is by Splave, 31.092. Let's try to push it, but it's quite hard. It's almost rank one. Twenty-five megahertz more, and it should be. Mm. Okay, that's the new top score. Okay, the previous top score was by some Korean guy at 1 minute 27.381. 
this is uh, 231. So barely, there's definitely not much headroom remaining. So I guess that's pretty much it. At least we managed to get it, but it's very hard to get the frequency any higher. So just uh, 5513, 5515, whatever. Okay, small improvement. Guess that's like 200 or 300 millisecond improvement, something like that. And okay, I managed to get the new top score in GPU Pi 1 billion in the 4 core category twice. The first one was something like 1 minute 27.2 something, and the second one 1 minute 27.095, I think. So this is probably the last top score for the EVGA. X570 dark, which is a pretty nice thing, as EVGA is not as EVGA is not really in the uh, highest end game at the moment in the motherboard scene due to their internal stuff, as, as the BAUS team is pretty much gone, etc. But it's still pretty awesome to see good performance on the EVGA motherboard. It was pretty hard to get the memories running correctly. It took me a lot of time and attempts to get like 4400, CAS 14, like 14, 13, 13, 28, etc running like successfully and stable. The, high, the hardest thing is, is uh, obviously the f clock as we want to maintain one-on-one -on -one ratio. The best frequency I got so far was uh, 4466 on the memory, so that's 2233 on the memory controller as well as on the f clock. So you need to run the f clock at one-on-one -on -one ratio with the memory controller. So uh, if we want to run 4600 on the memory, we need to get the f clock up to 2300. And on many of these AMD CPUs, the higher your F clock is, the worse the maximum temperature will become. But so far on these Zani CPUs, I haven't seen that impact on the cold bug. So uh, this seems to be pretty much like CPU dependent thing. So uh, I cannot move the maximum temperature no matter if the F clock is at 2300 or at 1500. So, uh, I don't know what's going on. I think it's just a CPU dependent thing. I got colder with this CPU than on my previous one, like 15 degrees colder, but the end frequency is somewhat the same or even actually a bit worse on this one. So uh, the maximum is somewhere around like 5.525 to 5.55. So uh, I got that same frequency pretty much or close to the same on the previous 5300G but at warmer temperature. So that's probably actually a bit better CPU than the previous one. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So I will upload this score to hardwarebot.org. So definitely check this out if you are interested in this whole run. Yeah, don't know if I want to buy more of these 5300G CPUs just for this one single test. Probably not. But anyways, it's pretty uh, nice to see like uh, a global rank one score on my channel in a bit while if you ask me because I mostly do like all the hardware and so on but yeah so uh, if you like to see this session then please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel maybe check out my patreon page as well if you want to support my work and yeah thanks for watching one of our videos once again and I will see you on the next one